you, you know how some people they have they have smegma, right? Mm-hmm. That's what happened to me. I had to clean it up. <laughs> <laughs> it's a show by Chris and Neil with all great movies. They are the real deal. We watch them all, so you don't have to. It's movies that don't suck and some that do. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, listeners of all ages, this is a new episode of Movies Don't Suck and Some Do. My name is Neil. Well, this is a special panic for this episode, and this is Chris, sorry. I will get, I'll get to that after the introduction, <laughs> sir. Sir, you introduced the podcast okay. and you introduced the app. You, do you want to start this all over again, buddy? No, did, did, no, you not, did you forget, we're, we're good. Did you we're forget good. how it worked? Yeah, let's get, let's get those, the fun. <laughs> I'm Chris. All right. All right, boy. Here we go. One, two, three. We'll go again. Welcome to a new episode of Movies Don't Suck and Some Do. My name is Neil. And I'm Chris. And, and today is another big Panic Fest 2024 episode. This time we will be talking about the long form shorts. Now, what is a long form short? Well, it's not what's in Chris's pants. No, that's not no, what it is. No, no, that's just a long no, no, form. No, 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 no. That's a form short. Hey, no. Anyway, <laughs> but yeah, but anyway, Chris, explain to them what a long form short is. Well, long form short is not exactly. It's it's generally closer to twenty minutes. Most shorts they run ten and under. Uh, but a long form short is going to be above. It's going to be above ten minutes generally. So a long form short is basically a sitcom without commercials. Exactly. Perfect. Good way to put it. Yeah. Because that's that's, yeah. Still, that's the length of a. Because yeah. a sitcom, if you go like watch uh, was it Big Bang Theory, mm-hmm. uh, Seinfeld, those shows are only like, like eighteen minutes, minutes yeah. nineteen minutes long, yeah. like uh, maybe twenty minutes. But usually, the more popular the show is, the shorter amount of time the show is actually going yeah. because of how many commercials yeah, they, they want, try to. The, I just want to get in there. Yeah, they're like just people. Yeah. So yeah, it's, like, it's a do you want to buy Coke? Do you want to buy Pepsi? Do you want to buy Coke and Pepsi? Do you want Doritos? Do you want you know Cheetos? Do you want you know? But yeah, uh, they had one um they had, they had block of these uh, on the virtual fest, fan fest, and ones that I saw in person. And, um, nice. And so, every guys, everybody that's listening, if you haven't listened to our Panic Fest episodes before, let us explain to you what Panic Film Fest is. Mm. Panic Fest is well, this wonderful horror uh, horror movie festival, horror sci-fi, um, basically independent filmmaker thriller, independent filmmakers that goes on at the Screenland Armor, right in North Kansas City, right across the river uh, from downtown. It is one of the most beautiful theaters in the world me and chris have uh, ourselves have been in this theater many 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 a times mm-hmm. and it is one of the best put together festivals for film yeah that i i've known of it's, it's, uh it's chris a, oh there chris, i am <laughs> yeah, yeah chris goes all the time i i did not get the chance because one i went to wrestlemania and i had covid when i came back mm-hmm. and then on that now i i can't even leave my i can barely <laughs> I don't know what's going on with this year, bro. What is going on with this year? I, I like last year and a half. I have gotten COVID two uh, two times. I've broken my arm. I have I have sp- super sprained my knee. I got COVID when I got back. Like it's like literally, my body is just saying, "Dude, you're done. We're just gonna put a whole new out. Just jump into it, Neil. You're done. You're over." But Panic Film Festival, guys, you can go uh, for people that are watching right now. Uh, I'll even share a screen with you really quick. Like it is Panic Film Festival still has a live active um, website that you can go to called panicfilmfest.com. You can look over all the information there on all these movies that we talk about. You go to a virtual land where you can go around. You can look at the schedule. Um, Sorry, I hit the wrong button. (laughs) But there's a film guy that literally tells you, all movies that were located at the film festival um, and the shorts, the longs, all the above. And if there is a link for the ones that you, that you want to watch, they will have a direct link for you to go watch them. Uh, these, this is one of the festivals that just 
it's loaded. It has what is it? One hundred fifty-five movies. Yeah, yeah. Is that what the guy said? That's, that's what Tim. That's what Tim, saying. That's what Tim Cannon said. So uh, yeah, you guys, uh, we we hope to see Pang Fest twenty twenty-five, and we'll all be there. Somebody know. just asked if we want a hot chocolate. We will take a hot chocolate. Sure. Did you see this? What the fuck is that? <laughs> Who is that? I don't know. Is- I don't know. I don't know. The heck uh, if I know, bro. Not really. Well, why do I got to know everybody? Uh, no. Sure, I'll take a hot chocolate. I like hot chocolates, and I cannot lie. You other bros can't deny. Uh, but yeah. No. Uh, when mother walks in with the yeah, All, right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, Chris. Tell us what's the first movie that we are, the first long-form short from Panic Fest 2024 that we are going to talk about today. Let's talk about Red Iron Road. Let's do that one. Red Iron Road in the heat. Uh it is uh, directed and written and all that. I fucking closed it out. How did I do that? You know. Good job, Chris. Chris is on top of it today. I'm just having you guys a all weird know. fucking day, dude. Not that weird. But that. It, it's, we're all weird. We're all weird, dude. Like, literally, our whole lives are weird. We're uh, just directed weird by, people. Directed, that's by, okay. <laughs> directed by Sam Cho. Um, the screenwriter was Ellery Van Der Vert. And the cast, the voice of Michael Dobson, Giles Panton, and Ellery Hennessy. It's... Uh, this is a really fucked up weird weird short film. Now, let's read the story for this. Here's a storyline, and I think the storyline is about as long as the short is itself. <laughs> um, when a bruised and battered man claiming to be Santa Claus is arrested for the murder of a child, the interrogating officers uncover a story more bizarre and horrific than expected. A violent Christmas rivalry between the forces of good and evil, where the outcome hinges on a promise made decades ago. The award-winning duo, duo of Sam Cho and, uh, oh, you say that name, uh, Ellery Van Duerwey? Is that how you say that? I think so. That works. <laughs> All right. Team up again for another animated thriller, this time diving into the turbulent origins of old Father Frost himself and the heat ad- adapted from a 2008 short story by the queen of Russian horror herself, Anna Star Bennett. All right. So this is 17 minutes long. It's animated. All of it's animated. Yes. Um, and it is like it, most of it takes place in a um, uh, what, what do you interrogation call this? Uh, interrogation room. Thank you. Yeah. I don't know why I couldn't think of the word right then and there. I, uh, I, I, I could have swore that Bill Burr was in this because that dude sounds just like him. <laughs> oh my god! I know um, this movie um, or this short was hilariously fucked up. Yeah. Uh, is the best way to say it? I guess. Yeah, I, I wouldn't call this a Christmas uh, short just because Santa Claus in it. I don't think this took place during Christmas, man. No, no, no. I, and uh, do not show this one to the kiddos. <laughs> no, this no. is not one. This is not one for the kiddos to be like uh, be watching this one. Mm-hmm. This is uh, this is uh, eighteen and up. But we'll go eighteen and up. It is funny though. This is very funny. It is funny, gory, and the twist. I love when it gives <laughs> a good twist. Yeah, there's a good twist in this. And there's a, there's a good twist in this one that uh, literally just knocks it out of the park. Now, uh, I went and watched actually some of the other Red Iron Road shorts uh, in the from the past mm-hmm. uh, because of this, and there are several, if I remember correctly. I don't know why I didn't have this loaded up uh, before <laughs> I I came on here, but there are several that I actually watched. Uh, The Family of the Verloc, The Forest. Yeah, The Forest King, I watched that one. Mm -hmm. The Rat Catcher's Daughter, uh, The Undertaker, which uh, was about a gloomy silent man, doesn't have many friends. He decides to throw a party, invites his deceased Pete friends. Uh, You know, like they, uh, they, you can go find, um, oh my gosh. Most of their stuff you can find on an app, which is called Plex, P-L-E-X. Plex? Yep, okay. P-L-E-X. Okay. And uh, that's where I found it, and I, I found a couple of these episodes of stuff. So the Red Iron series is not just as amazing one with uh, Santa Claus. The best way to think of this is it's like uh, Love, Death, what is it, Death and Robots? Love, love Death and Robots. Death, love, and, Death, love, love, Death and Robots. Love, yeah. Something like that, or um, kind of like... Um, I don't want to say robot chicken, but because that's the only thing I think of that's animated yeah. and it's random shit. Yeah. But it's like a Black Mirror, but animated. It's like a, it's like a Twilight Zone, but animated. Yeah, it's like literally. It's, it's not quite as it's mind, different it's, weird. It's, it's not quite as mind bending as that to me. That this was a fun short, but uh, of the shorts we saw, this is one 
the least like that I would do it. But um but I do like that I did like this one. It was it, of the three it's probably the funniest that we talked about today. Yeah. Um but and it, it just I it, I just loved it. I, I, I don't even know how to say I, I wanna I wanted to put my Christmas tree up after. <laughs> so um Neil uh so uh, talking about this I guess what's your score on this? I guess we we'll just get right into it. Uh, you know what? I'll give this a, a four point three, man. I loved it. I I I've watched it like five times, <laughs> like since I. Uh, I mean, it's it's only like twenty minutes, and I wanted to make sure my mind was good, so I actually just rewatched it like an hour ago. Yeah, I did too. So uh, it, I'm a little bit well than you. Four four probably four out of five, but it's a really fun, well done short. It's well done. Like uh, you know, I mean, like when it comes to, I mean, it looks like it. It looks like there was money in it. I guess that's why I put it because it, it it seems like it could. It's a good one. So yeah, it's a good good little short. You know, it's a great little short, and it's a good way to just make you say, "Hey, this day is awesome," <laughs> and I love you. No, uh, but yeah, it, it is a good short. It's a good thing to look out for. Literally, go look for the series if you can. If you ever come across Red Iron Road, watch them. They are they are cool mysterious that there, there's some of them are funny some of them just so dark that you're just mm. like what the fuck but it's that it, it goes real it's like adam's family i don't uh, know like that's, adam's that's family. that's a good, that's a really good one it's, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah it words it's it's dark and maniacal and if you actually pay attention to what they're saying it's a little more fucked up than, than you think it is but you it's know, also like, fun I mean, <laughs> it's, also it's fun. all about fun it's all about fun. All right, Chris, what's the next one we're going to be talking about today? Uh, let's do uh, Juggernaut. Let's talk about Juggernaut. Oh, no, let's not go that direction. Let's yeah, go the other direction. Monster Opus. <laughs> right. There you go. Uh, Monster Opus. That's directed by Nao P. Kwan. Written by Nao P. Kwan. It's 19 minutes long. Neil wants to read the storyline for, for Monster Opus. Oh, man, I don't know. This, this one's a hard one. Yeah. A real zombie virus strikes on the set. Of a low budget zombie film. All right, all right. Do, do you want to do you want to give your appearance on this first, yes, or do you yes. want me to go? I'll go okay, I'll go. how about you go first? You go first on this one. All right, dude. Uh, so it starts out with a filmmaker. He's trying to make a zombie movie, and they can't find the zombie, right? And they the, can't find. Uh, he can't find the makeup person with the zombie. The makeup person, and, it is not doing a good job making them look like zombies. No, and but they can't find them, right? But yeah, and that's how it starts out, sort of. But in the, sort of, it deals into the mind of a filmmaker who's obsessed. I guess it has something to do. It has like commentary, I guess, on COVID in my mind. Like they, they, they it's like commentary on that, and it's a uh, parts of it are funny, parts of it are boring as fuck, and parts of it are just straight up weird. But I liked it, Monster Opus. Like, I, I, I think I liked this one. It's just I think it was a little too long. Um, I am now going to be the opposite of everything he just said uh-huh. and completely tear this one apart. <laughs> <Yeah>. um, <laughs> all right, so if you are trying to prove to me <laughs> that the guy <laughs> is a real zombie... Um, after you're mad about the people that have the bad zombie makeup, maybe the makeup needs to be better than the bad zombie makeup. <laughs> uh, uh, and believe me, I know all about bad zombie makeup. I had some at my my wedding. Yeah, uh, oh, yeah. We're not gonna. I was there. We're not gonna talk. I yeah, was yeah. There. That guy. That guy did not. They did not understand what the job was. <laughs> anyway, um, that said. They didn't make it really that clear what exactly was going on for a minute, and yeah, it was kind of sto- the storyline was a little like like you're like what? <laughs> like, there's a bunch of that like what what's going on? Like, cause, cause, oh, like, so that one with the better makeup, just a little bit of better makeup. Oh, is he supposed to be a real zombie? Is there a zombie apocalypse going on? Yeah, like um. I, it was, uh, I, I don't know. I was a little weird. I don't know, man. Um, I won. I, I love the concept. Mm-hmm. I love the idea. I just don't think it 
came together well. So and I'm the, I, 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 I and I watched this two or three times to make sure that I'm not being a dick about it. You yeah. know, I'm like I made sure I watched it and I'm not not trying to be an ass, but it just didn't like it was just like eh. So if you want to watch a movie that really does a, a person making a zombie movie the best, it's one cut of the dead. That's the best fucking zombie movie I think of. It's one of them. One cut of the dead where they that you, you we talked about that in the podcast. Probably a couple of years ago, she's Japanese. Yeah, yeah, and uh, yeah, yeah. So I don't know. Monster Robots got any, any uh, ideas from that? It probably didn't, but it it didn't come together the way that it. I felt like it should have. I mean, it, like it could have been one five minutes shorter, possibly. No, I don't care if it was longer or shorter. I don't care about that. Uh-huh. Just they to- just needed a little more. They needed a little more substance. Uh huh. They just needed a little more substance in there. Yeah. If they did something that just, you know, um, I don't know. It just needed a little more oomph. And, and maybe a little more terrifying that the the guy is a real life zombie and not <laughs> a fake zombie. I don't know. I don't know exactly, but it just needed a little oomph. And it, it didn't hit your, it didn't scratch your zombie itch, huh? Um, yes, by any means, by any means, sorry. Um, a good buddy of mine, Jason just says 20, uh, 28 says later, I'm guessing days later mm-hmm. is the clear all time zombie winner. What do you think about that? It's not a problem. I mean, it's pretty good. I mean, 20 days later. I don't know, man. I mean, uh, warm bodies. Mm. Yeah, no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. That was a joke. That was a joke. I was like, I was like Neil's. What, what, what Return of the Living Dead was it where the guy get, hits the sign and he looks like he's Michael Jackson doing the, he's in the Michael Jackson's trilogy. Uh, wasn't that Return of the Living Dead 3? Yeah, that one. That one. Uh, well, no. Jason uh, McCoy. No, Jason. Come on, dude. Jason, Jason's the nice, nice guy that uh, he's with me in a lot of photos. I, I'm not <laughs> <more> <laughs> <bodies>. <laughs> Everybody, Jason right here says, not warm bodies. We are not talking warm bodies. <laughs> yeah. But uh, 20 Days Later um, is great, but then this is not as near as good as that. This, yeah, this movie is not. This this uh, long-form short is not 28 Days Later. Uh, I can't wait for 28 Years Later, all oh, the announcements awesome, yeah. coming up. Oh, man, we, we just talked about that on our last episode of the podcast, mm-hmm. um, which was, uh, what was the movies that we did on the last one? Was... Uh, you're supposed to know all this stuff. Uh, you're you're my supposed producer, to know it bro. too, dude. But like, like everyone asked me, like, what did you talk about? I just I'm like, fuck, because we won't. What, do, <laughs> we, we just did like ten episodes uh, in the last. Well, uh, we did five episodes the last week. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, it was a uh, driveway dolls and civil war. Yeah, yeah, driveway <laughs> dolls and civil doors. We just talked about that. Uh, but yeah, on the new segment. Remember, there's a new segment yeah. every time. Yeah. But okay, Chris, uh, what's your rating on uh, not warm bodies? <laughs> 3.3 maybe out of five? yeah I, I can't even give it that i yeah. gotta i gotta give it a lower than that i gotta give it like a 2.8 like okay. i i love the idea of it but man i just it, it didn't come together for me and uh i hate man i hate that i have to be judgmental on people like this mm-hmm. i hate why do you make me do this i'm sorry Kyle. why do you make me why do you make me be an asshole chris i don't You're think you like, an asshole hey, this is this is you our- know what's great Remember that time, Neil, that you got drunk and you're an asshole to everybody? I'm gonna make you do that every fucking week. <laughs> I, I do. I do remember life. that. I do remember that. <laughs> <laughs> that was the conversation. He's like, "You got a good voice, and you, you don't mind being an asshole. I'm gonna put you on the <laughs> microphone." <sighs> All right, man. Uh, oh, no, no, lost what? What was? What is it called? Lost what? No, it was called. Uh, name the name of the long form oh. short again. Oh, monster opus. Monsters own pit. It was at the Panic Film Festival. You can find it at panicfilmfest.com. Look under features that they had there. All right. Last but not least, the third long form short of the day, the last one that we have to cover. Juggernaut. Chris, what is the name? Juggernaut. Juggernaut. Directed bitch. by Daniele Ricci and Emmanuel Ricci. Uh, screenwriter Eugenio Krulov. Daniel Ricci and Emmanuel Ricci. Stars Eugenio Krulov, Adriana Papana, and Nicola Ceretti. Uh, this. Is twenty minutes long, and it's from Italy. So there's, but that's fine because there's no, no language in it. Neil, uh, wants through this. You're this no story. language. What did this, you say? <laughs> wants through the storyline for Juggernaut. Uh no, 
I, 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 I dare. I, 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 that's the end of the podcast. We quit. All right. The a fearless knight has embarked on a painful and exhausting journey to regain what he has lost. Okay. Um. So with this one, why don't you start this one? Did this win awards? Did this win awards? I don't think so. Why did this not win awards? It's because it's I'm gorgeous. telling you right now. It's gorgeous. This is the most gorgeous thing that we saw the entire festival. Nothing was as beautifully shot as this short. Yeah, there is. Uh, it, it it's it's better than Game of it's better than some episodes of Game of Thrones when it comes out beautiful shot like this. It means the like, the best film stock, the best lighting, the best everything. It's a gorgeous movie, like one hundred percent. And um, it was it was grimy. It was gross. It was. It was cool, you know, like just just the, the pacing of it was also good too, right? And it, it was the thing about it is it reminds me of like a good uh, like dark. Um, it reminds me of a dark uh, tragedy, like a good story, like um, a Greek mythology or uh, you know Greek or Roman mythology stories, like mm-hmm. the stories of like Jason and Argonauts and stuff like that, where it's somebody that's going on something that it's a depressing. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, this is a depressing yeah. adventure. The, yeah. This guy goes on this adventure that is just sad as hell. It's, it's only 20 minutes long, yeah. but when it gets to the end, and and you see the the reason why he went through the journey and everything like that, it, it's just kind of like it's like, oh yeah, yeah. And it's it's cra- like, it's crazy how, I mean, it's gory. It gets gory. There's some parts where you're like, man, that's 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 fucked up. And you, and I do like how it reveals itself in a way that not spoon feed the answers, you know, like when you get to the end, you're not like upset, right. you know, like you sort of understand and you see this guy just fucking killing himself on the way, dude. It's just, it's, it's beautiful. And the thing is, it's like so captivating and they don't even use even have to use words. In it. Like it's one of those that it is just, it's short and uh, it's a nice short that, it was just mammoth of a of a good dark. It is like a, a medieval dark fantasy realm thing. And I'm I, I like, if you're like a geek like us, like we, me and Chris, if you don't know the story, we literally met playing D and D. That's us. We 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 <laughs> are we are geek. Obviously, I am a geek. I have it. I have it all here. I even have. I even have the player uh, yeah. that I have the the little the action figure right about there where Tohaka yeah. uh, is, <laughs> and uh, but um, so to us something that's this immersive like it makes you just feel it just made you feel like you're just like oh I'm in this like mm-hmm. it, and like no words are used and it is just all visually done and how this didn't win like 120 different awards. Uh, I mean, if it didn't, I, I didn't. I don't see it. That, no. that do they announce who won all the awards? Well, I mean, it's, 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 it's definitely, it's definitely in the festival circuit right now. Uh, but like most of these shorts, right. like it'll be uh, they'll, they'll come out in some form, but I, I don't know when uh, when they'll be wide release. But but uh, it's kind of it's kind of hard to, a lot of times to feel to see the the shorts uh, in without like actually being there. So uh, that's why we want people to go to film fest to see shorts like this. You know, um, I I see shorts like this all the time. <laughs> I see your shorts all the time, and it's Hell weird. Yeah. I don't know why you left them here. I, I, I get, my, I get you need to come pick them up. I'm wearing Back to the Future ones right now. But like, I'm trying to see. I'm I'm looking up everything about these guys right now. I'm trying to find out if they've won anything because these. This was like, I mean, even on IMDb, this has like, uh, what does this have? This has a point two out of ten, like. This is a good movie. I don't see if they've won anything yet. Let's see. I, I'm. I know. I know. This is this is great radio when somebody's <laughs> just and Chris for saying shit. anything. Well, you're uh, you're talking. I'm like waiting for you to okay. keep it now. <laughs> best directors. Best directors at Panic Fest. Okay. Uh, it won. Here we go. It won best fantasy short film mm-hmm. at Film Quest 2023. Yeah. It won. Best directors at 2024. Um, 
It's been selected winner of the best cinematography from Horrorhound Film 100%. Festival and best production design. So, I mean, it, it's winning. It's won some stuff, man. Yeah. And it, like, what else did it win at? Yeah, just best director by Dan, uh, Daniel and uh, Emmanuel. Uh, Amelia uh, Emmanuel. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so they did win some stuff, and that's good. Yeah. Because this movie, like, uh, if we don't see these guys again, I would be very shocked. Because yeah, I would be big... very shocked if these guys don't come around. They they have a uh, they have a a talent and an eye for something beautiful. Me and Neil really like this movie or this short, and we hope that you guys get a chance to see it. Uh, this is just beautifully done. This is like uh, what, what was that movie we saw with uh, Skarsgård uh, with Alexander Skarsgård? Where uh, Northman, 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 mm-hmm. Northman. The yeah. Northman? The yeah, Northman. the Northman. It kind of reminds me of that, but just as tragic, you know what I mean? It was like the tragedy and the, the, the deep-heartedness of what that movie brought. This 20-minute short brought. Yeah. That's my best way to describe it. Um, Chris, what do you give it? Probably a 4.4 out of 5. It was that good, it was that good to me. Yeah, I, I'd put it like a 4.7. Like, literally, I, I love something that I love... I'm all about happy endings mm-hmm. in movies. I am. I am. All right. But when a movie can at the end just make me think a little and be like, okay, that's that's something a little different. That's a different path to go. Um, and I'm okay with it and I really embraced it. Uh, I'm gonna say that that that's just one. It's this a, is one of them that's just also, great. It's also moving. You know, like you don't really expect something like this to be moving, but it's definitely mm-hmm. at the end you're kinda like you're kind of in, kind of in awe. <laughs> I guess the best way to put this, and um, I really hope you people get a chance to see Juggernaut from Italy. Um, uh, so, guys, if you guys want to see movies like these, which you should, uh, go to Paint Fest next year, Paint Fest 2025, or also go back and check the alumni they had on the fest, which are available because Paint Fest is the best on the fest in the country, in my uh, for my for my mind. So. Uh, they, and then they do not pay us to say this. Yeah, no. I just want you to know that right now. Um, believe me, uh, no one has paid us anything ever for this podcast. <laughs> um, right, well, uh, Chris paid me 20 bucks once, but that was cause I was drunk and I was like, I need a beer. And he was like, go get a beer. And but anyway, um, but I should, I should tell people the, how they can find this, right? Yeah, give me one second. No? One second. Right. One second. Right. Let me finish up my, my part. Fuck, sorry. Get out of here. Fuck, sorry. Why don't you just, why are you jumping gun all the time? <laughs> I know where you live. Yeah. Uh, guys, just so you know, Panic Fest is one of the big festivals that go on every year. Me and Chris are always a big part of it. Uh, you can go there. You can meet directors, actors, stuff like that. You can go to some of the best movies and all of horror, thriller, uh, cinema that is done by individual it is a great festival and it's right in the wonderful beautiful city of kansas city just north kansas city right around right up north of downtown it is a great time it's always usually at the beginning of april so if you get a chance go there chris tell everybody where they can find us though you can find us online at movies don't suck.net we're at facebook.com so that's movies don't suck podcast we're an x mts podcast we're an instagram at mts podcast we have patreon Patreon on slash movies don't suck. We're on a bonfire such movies that don't suck. And some they do, you'll find shirts with our names on it, our faces on it, some stuff Neil has made, separate of all that. I think it's one that says hookers and blow on it. <laughs> but, um, yeah. And, and then uh, old cash prices. You were you find podcasts, you can find movies don't suck and some they do. We're on YouTube <laughs> too. We're also on Twitch. Uh you probably watch us on X right now after watching us. And yeah, just guys, Panic Fest is the best uh horror fest. By, yeah, Neil, Neil's showing something about uh, was, you held that up. As, Simon, give us it up. <laughs> yeah, give us that up. Yeah, so go ahead and, if you guys are listening to us uh, on something else, go ahead and subscribe so you guys can just see our movies that we talk about all the time. These are spank, but yeah, go back and listen to the other Pink Fest episodes and just uh, hang out with us, be our friends. We love you. Uh, you're the best, you're the best. You know. Yeah, message us. Talk to us. We like it. We like good people. Ask Jason. He likes it. He's a good person. All right. 
Is that it? Oh, um, if you got a small business, let us know. We'll be more than happy to uh, advertise you right here on our upcoming episodes of Movies That Don't Suck and Something to Do. Free of charge. We just want to make sure that our thousands of listeners and followers go to your location as well mm -hmm. because me and Chris want to support. This Thursday, we have an upcoming episode, and it is of Monkey Man and Boy Kills and a we, Universe. And we Bill Cole, Boy Kills World, and we have a special guest, Mark Radowich, on there. Oh, Mark's going to be here. Oh, <laughs> no, you go, Mark. that Mark guy from WTN. W2Net.com. Yeah. No. Uh, yeah. Mark's the best. Mark's that the best. Mark guy has to be here. Yeah. When Mark comes on, all, when Mark comes on, uh, there's a 10 minute aside about wrestling. <laughs> that I'm just sort of twiddling my thumbs for. <laughs> it happens, man. You know, that's just what happens when you, when you got two people at. Talk a lot of wrestling and know a lot about wrestling. But, uh, Chris, let's get on out of here for this panic episode. Right. That's another episode of Movies Don't Suck and Some Do. My name's Neil. And I'm Chris. And remember, guys, no matter how hard you try to be on the good list or the naughty list every year, remember one guy who's never going to be on the good list, and that's Juggernaut, bitch. Have a good night. <laughs>